Tired of knocking their heads against the wall and at an impasse in their career, Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz figured, look, change is good, so they headed south. Over the years, these ice dancers have never been afraid to try something new. Their latest change brought them to a veteran Russian coach at a training base right here in the United States. The Olympians, brought to you by RBC Financial Group, supporting Olympic dreams since 1947. Honestly, I think change is, is growth. I believe anytime you want to be more successful, you make a change and hope for the best. It's also a scary word, I think, for many people, but um, once you make it, I think it's a positive thing. We started together in Boucherville, in Quebec. I actually saw Victor at a competition when I did pairs and noticed him then and then heard um, later that his partner was injured and he was looking for someone. So I wanted to skate with him. She was fairly young and very fresh and open to ideas and wanting to do uh, things. And, and um, I think that's what really impressed me and that's what I liked about her. Then we moved to uh, Philadelphia with our choreographer, Ushi Kessler. We sort of with her created a, a new style of skating and that's, we call it hydroblading. At the 94 Olympics, we started doing that in the practices. Like when most people would just leave because they, they were done practicing, we would stay on the ice and just do these things and people would come back in the stands, sit down and look at us. And that was very rewarding because it made us stand out as being different. It added the risk level to ice dancing and I think um, that was the most exciting part for me because it was creating change and now it's, it's in every couple. And then from Philadelphia, we were with Marina and Sarah Gay in Lake Arrowhead. They had just retired recently from the Olympic Games and as amateur skaters and were now pro skating. And there were a lot of insights, all different insights. We felt like we grew so much with them just from learning this technique, which many of the Russians all do. Then we moved to <laughs> Lake Placid, New York uh, with Natalia Dubova. She had another insight because she has been the coach so many years. That's a medal. That's a bronze medal for Shaylin and Victor. And after that, we moved to Newington, Connecticut with Tatiana Tarasova. Best change is definitely having been able to work with Tatiana. The biggest thing in Salt Lake City is going to be Victor and I are going to be skating a style that is not traditional but is real dancing. I hope it will encourage a lot of other skaters out there to go their own way, because that's what is exciting about ice dancing, when you have something fresh and when you have something new. 